Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Monday, is the first day of the weekly candle. I would have really loved for yesterday's candle to have closed the weekly candle, of course, above 35,000. That wasn't possible. We closed it just below it. But uh, we will have uh, a shorter video today. I will try to see what's happening. And guys, forgive me for the long delay for today's video, but I've been working on my latest interview with Ugly Old Goat. Uh, this is a new addition to the channel. I'm going to interview some relevant, really relevant people uh, to the crypto world and finance in general. So please visit the channel. You will see a playlist with the interviews and the first interview will be very, very soon available on YouTube. I'm just finishing some editing work, but you can already see the clips, the promo clips. So give it a look, check it out, and you will really, really enjoy the interviews that I'm starting to um, record now. So guys, uh, without further delay, let's go to screen share. Uh, price to time model, nothing to say here. We just continue to accumulate. You guys see it here. We just continue to go sideways and we are forming a compression in the price action. So as I said before in a few videos, I'm expecting a volatile move to happen. Uh, the indications and my personal favorite, of course, is that we are going to be volatile in the upward direction. So we will go up but there, there are still also big probabilities that we could drop from here and revisit the 20k as I said in my analysis during the weekend also at the Hard for Cafe in Portuguese if you watched it live on Saturday evening but that's it I don't see it right now it's it's a mind game it's just psychology acting on us and we should be out of trading for now no way we can trade with the market like this because this is just going sideways so to trade now is to gamble and i'm not gambling so let's move on to the crypto total and this one is an important chart of course because in the crypto total you have all the cryptos together all the market valuations together as one in the chart and this is exactly what I was saying at the beginning when I showed you the previous uh, screen with the price to time model. Right now, we are in the middle of a range. So you guys see here the bottom of the range. You guys see here the top, almost the top of the range also. And we are acting. The price action is exactly in the middle. So this is a 50-50 chance of going up and going down. There are no probabilities here that you can uh, evaluate in at least a minimum of scientific manner so there is no way you can tell me that the market is going up or down right now we don't know but as soon as this compression is over we will find out for sure and then no one knows what's going to happen in the future as we don't also here in this channel we only analyze the probabilities at the moment and right now at the moment there's a 50 50 chance that we go up or down we don't know and as we don't know i'm out of the market i'm not trading right now i will keep my positions open um so the positions i have open close to this price action i will maintain i will see in the future if i'm right or wrong um by maintaining those positions and not closing them because i don't believe that we are going down as much as i don't believe we are going up right now so we have to wait and time time is of the essence now patience is the key word for this market as this is right now i don't understand people trading uh actively trading right now and and doing amazing trades and stuff like that no one is doing amazing trades because what you're doing right now is just playing roulette black or red and you don't know which one is coming out uh, i'm not even counting the you know the house with the zero uh always uh, winning against black or red but right now even if the zero is not there on the roulette this is playing roulette i'm out of trading i'm not doing anything i'm just going to wait and guys if you are smart and intelligent you also will not trade this market right now you will have to wait for a volatile move for this accumulation to be over because there's absolutely no point trading when you don't know you don't have a, the least probability of knowing anything right now if we are going up or down so that's it uh for the you know for the this is just this is just psychology acting you should be um training your psychology right now to refrain from trading 
uh, and, and do nothing. Just look at the charts once a day. That's what it takes. The next time you see a volatile move, but I'm not talking about $1,000. I'm talking about $5,000 up or down. Then you will know what is going to happen after this price compression that is happening right now. Uh, so just to give you guys an idea, this channel I, I, I drew here is right now we are exactly in the middle of this channel. So we have the latest swing high and the latest swing low and we are exactly trading in the middle. Accumulation means nothing that, you know, just the momentum tells me that no one is in control, not the bears, not the bulls. No one is controlling anything right now. We are below zero here on the momentum and that's not good. You, you, you cannot take any indications of what the market is going to do so regarding the, the crypto total which is in fact what you can analyze right now because if you want to analyze a specific coin right now it's impossible because a specific coin will not work by itself the crypto market right now as one is not working so how could one coin work or one coin go to the moon if all the others are not doing anything, are just accumulating and see, uh, trying to see what's going to happen uh, in some time. So as I said also in previous videos, I said that I'm expecting a few weeks of accumulation. Uh, I don't know if the move will come before the end of July or maybe in August, can, because you can see here at the Bitcoin chart and Bitcoin still is king. And uh, so, let me take you to the monthly chart. So Bitcoin being king, Bitcoin, of course, will rule all the other coins. All the other coins will follow as usual. Shit coins will just do whatever, you know, Bitcoin is doing. If Bitcoin is going up, shit coins will go up faster. If Bitcoin is going down, shit coins will go down faster. So that's what you have in, in the world of coins as one, as individuals, but as one, as the market cap, total market cap. Uh, this is what you should be taking a look right now. And we continue to have this price structure on the monthly. So nothing really happened. As I said, we have to wait for this price structure to, to evolve and to tell us something new, which we have been seeing for a long time already, for months. So for the, for the last two months already, we have been seeing this structure and nothing is happening. And we, we are just hoping that the 30K, uh, the 30K level of support will hold and defend this hill. Because if we lose this hill, as I said, the probability of going to see 20K again will increase a lot. So right now, this is what we have. You have to be patient. You can't do anything. You should not enter any positions or leave any positions right now. You should maintain what you believed uh, that would happen with your positions in the past. You have to maintain it now because nothing happened. So you don't know what is going to happen. So as far as I'm concerned, my positions will stay on the market as I uh, previously did. So I, I have... Uh, two or three positions I entered when we went to the lowest uh, swing high around the 28, 30K. I will maintain those positions because I still believe we can defend the hill around 30K. But if the hill is lost, then I will maintain my positions and I will wait for Bitcoin to recover in the future and the, for those positions to become profitable again. I'm not going to sell those positions, you know, getting $1,000 or $500 or whatever in the spot market because they are not leveraged. So uh, I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm just going to maintain. So this is the monthly chart. I will just take a look. We continue to have the same structure. So there's no point talking about this. You've seen it in previous videos. Regarding the weekly chart, of course, we recovered a bit before the close of the week last night, but it was not enough. As I said before, I would have loved to see a close above 35. That would have made this a green doji probably. Uh, let me check. Yeah, above 35, 300, this would have been a green doji or a green hammer, sorry. And this did not happen. So we had the worst weekly close since January. Um, now we continue to go down today, but the thing that might help us to defend the hill right now is the 50 period SMA, which is the yellow line coming here up. So it's probable that this 50 period SMA will support the price, will act as support together with the 30K level already, and both of them will be able, probably, probably will be able to support this price action right now. So no one knows, but this is my hope. And that's why I'm not selling those positions right now.
so that's it for the weekly of course the rsi continues to go sideways just pointing a bit down now because of this new candle here on the weekly the macd however gives us another another small 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 hope because the new bar we have here is again having a gap uh, to the previous bar so this means a shorter body on this bar here which indicates that the bearish momentum continues to lose strength but it may take a lot of time until we see on the weekly at least the MACD being bullish so nothing here also to see let me just check the daily and this will be the last chart that I will show today because there's no point showing things that don't tell us anything new we continue to have this higher low not invalidated so we have this higher low here let me zoom in for you guys we had this low then a higher low here the second one then this one was invalidated of course by this one but this one's still above that the second and it continues to be valid as a higher low so as i said we continue to compress the price this is forming a kind of a triangle here again on top of this already triangle that we had before with the fake out but so far no news is good news so nothing happened and we continue to wait to see where this will evolve one thing i can tell you from this chart this area this complete area around the from 40k to 30k is becoming a really really accumulation big accumulation area as you guys can see by the vpvr we are accumulating a lot of bitcoin here um, so i guess neither the bulls or the bears are in control right now these are just random people trading which i already said this is like playing the roulette when you have 50 50 chances of going up and down you don't know what's going to happen so you just might want to go to the casino and play a roulette because you will have the same gains as trading the market right now okay guys so uh we will have a shorter video today uh there is nothing new to show you guys so i hope this helped you maintain at least patience uh, try to think about different things don't look at the market don't overlook the market right now um, don't be uh, stressed out because of this you have to wait and sometimes time is of the essence and right now when the conditions of the market give us 50 50 percent of going up or down the only thing that changes is time and time requires you to be patient so this is my message today be patient don't do anything and let's wait for the outcome of this compression that is happening right now in between the 30k and the 40k and then we will evaluate what will happen next okay so this is my message to you today a message of patience i know this is a bit more psychological than technical but sometimes it's really important to uh, control your uh brain also not just your hands to touch the buttons to buy and sell okay so i hope you have a great day don't forget the interview with ugly old goat will be really really soon online on youtube i would really enjoy you guys to see it because this guy is amazing his life experience is amazing he has a lot of stories to tell and uh of course a lot of uh, finance also uh, knowledge about finance and crypto so just watch the interview and you will learn a lot as i did i was educated by ugly old goat during this two hours interview which finally it was compressed into one hour and a half uh, after some editing okay guys so let me just stop screen share go back here if you really enjoyed the content today please gently touch the like button as usual also subscribe to the channel don't forget the bell notification icon select all if you want to be notified of uh, the um, videos i upload and the live streams on saturdays also the interviews will be you will get the notification when i finally upload that interview and just to finalize now i will put it on the screen we also have a telegram group which you would like to join for sure because there's a lot of bright people there discussing crypto in general and bitcoin in particular 24 hours a day i'm also there answering questions and helping to you know uh make this group a dynamic group so if you want to join you will be very very welcome the link is here on the screen just write it on your browser and uh you will be joining the group also okay guys so have a nice day and i will see you again tomorrow in the next video Bye-bye.